Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, for the people that don't know me, hey, I am Marsh. I am the number one Bloodhound on Apex Legends currently at the time of the recording of this video. Um, I have over 100,000 kills on him. I have multiple uh, records. I've been top thread multiple seasons, which currently I'm number 50 right now on the season. Uh, so I'm probably one of the most well-placed people to put this guide together. Now, if you pressed on the title on this video, you saw the title, you know what this video is about. This is probably the best guide you will find on any platform anywhere on how to run Bloodhound mechanically. Now, on screen, you'll be able to see some of the plays we make and whatnot. But the the main core of the video will be focused on what am I what I am saying and what I am telling you guys through my voice. The, the clips is basically just so you guys can sort of like see what I'm doing in those clips. Most of them will be in ranked, some are in pubs, so you guys can sort of get a mix of both. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, it will be a little long, but it's worth it. Stick till the end. We'll go through his abilities, his mechanics, advantages, disadvantages. Uh, go through every single ability one by one. Uh, tactical, passive, ultimate. Uh, different play styles, how pubs differ from ranked. And uh, we'll, we'll go through Bloodhound very in depth. Now this is the first guide I will be making. I will, I might be making more if ever there's an update to Bloodhound or an update just that the community wants as the, as often some people are not satisfied with the guides, but I hope this one helps and I will see you guys in the main segments of the video. So let's start with the very first thing about Bloodhound, his passive. Now this you don't realize you're using, but you're really using it all the time. It's one of the best things in his kit. Bloodhound sees clues or tracks, as the comm community calls them, um, of how long enemies were there, uh, what they're doing, which abilities they had. The, he sees tracks midair too for people that fly. You'll see how long ago they used their abilities and which direction they went, even how many enemies there are. And I'm going to go more in depth about that when I talk about the tactical. But that is basically his passive. Um, now, I don't want to waste too much time on this one because it's pretty obvious and I'm going to go more in depth about it on the the tactical so no, i so for his tactical it is named the eye of the all father oh what it does is or what it reads basically is basically reveal enemies traps and clues through all structures in front of you what this means is basically bloodhound will start an animation from their left arm to their right this takes about like two or three seconds to activate so be mindful about when you use it because if you use it at a wrong time you start scanning and an enemy pulls up in front of you while you are scanning you are basically fucked because you have no way of defending yourself while uh, you are scanning because you cannot can cancel this animation so after that anim animation it will release a cone shaped um, upside down cone shaped uh, scan for 75 meters in front of you it starts at bloodhound's eyes and progressively gets wider and far, uh, farther so an enemy who's 60 meters away as opposed to an enemy who's 10 meters away will be scanned slower um they stay scanned for about four seconds now this will scan enemies traps and uh any uh clues in front of you what this basically means oh and a little uh, bug that there is crypto drones it'll scan the crypto drone not the little bubble around it but the drone itself and the drone they scan forever. It never stops being scanned unless the crypto holds back the drone. It's a little, little fun tip. Um, but for the main part, enemies and traps, that's pretty straightforward. They stay scanned for 4 seconds, then they disappear. As for clues, now this is where it gets interesting. And this is where the scan really starts to take some thinking to just play. Not just scan over and over and spam it. Uh, what the scan will do is it'll reveal every clue in that cone-shaped perimeter that you have scanned which means that you'll be able to see tracks you weren't able to see before so let's say you're stuck in a building and you want to see where a team rotated to let's say you're in building a and building b is in front of you you scan building b there was a team once there the team's not there it'll scan the perimeter between the buildings and the building itself now you'll be able to see tracks through the walls which you would in normal which you normally would not be able to see and from there you can tell where a team went how long ago they went how many of them moved what they left what abilities they used if they grappled if they did anything now this is where the the scan really takes its uh its use it's it's amazing for for doing things like that not just spamming scans just to know where enemies are and as for uses 
uh, you can use the scan aggressively, defensively. Scan to know where uh, when somebody's popping around a corner if you're using it defensively. You can scan uh, to single out enemies uh, to know if you even want to push a fight. The scan can be used in any situation and it is very, very versatile. Just be mindful again of when you use it as that animation can get you killed. Make sure you have cover when you use it when you're in a fight or again, it will get you killed. So now let's move on to Bloodhound's ultimate. This one's gonna be a little long. I'm gonna go over every single perk of this ultimate. Now this one is not is very poorly described by the, the Apex creators. It has a bunch of effects that aren't listed on it that you can actually see for yourself as a Bloodhound main or just go test it out in the range. Um, there's a couple things that a lot of people don't know. Even seasoned Bloodhound mains don't seem to know most of these. Um, so I'm gonna go over every single... Uh, perk of this ability the good thing about this is that this ultimate enhances the tactical and passive and i'm gonna go over that as well so first off i'm gonna start with the settings version of this uh believe it or not that is one of the only abilities in the game if not the only one that actually has an effect on your in-game settings the beast of the hunt when you activate it has a duration of 35 seconds and is increased by 15 seconds with every knock you get uh, during the duration of this alt, your field of view in your settings will be bumped up from whatever field of view you have to 110 for the entire duration of the alt. Now this is done so that you can sort of like have a feeling of going even faster than you actually are, as the speed boost is still 30% which is the same as Bangalore, just a little slightly slower than Octane. Um, so your field of view is bumped up to 110 for the duration of the ultimate, it lasts 35 seconds. Plus 15 seconds for each knock. Now this means that if you thirst somebody on the ground, you won't get an extra 15 seconds. It is just for enemies that you knock down. Uh, another thing about his ult is again the speed boost. You get a 30% speed increase. The most blatant obvious part of it is you get threat vision. Your entire vision will become gray apart from enemy traps enemy ordnance and enemies themselves they'll become red and they'll have a little red flare behind them what this means is like if you've ever looked at a comet you'll see they have uh these trails behind them these tails as they're called now bloodhound will do the same thing there'll be uh residues of red so if ever somebody turns a corner you'll be able to spot which one directly because there'll be a little trail of red going around that corner um now this Thread vision is great to spot enemies farther, to spot enemies quicker, and to spot them through little cracks or glass or in the visual impairments such as bang smoke, caustic gas, which were great with uh, blood down, or even heat shields that seem to absolutely obscure everybody who's inside when they're in storm because you cannot see anything in them. And Bloodhound fixes that with his scans and his ultimate. Now another thing his ultimate does is it decreases your scan cooldown all the way down to 6 seconds. Since enemies are scanned for 4 seconds and the cooldown is 6 seconds, uh, you are basically having constant enemies scanned with uh, just a 2 second cooldown in between where they are not scanned. So it, it is legit a constant wall hack with 2 seconds uh, basically delays in between. With the gold helmet, that decreases to 5 seconds, so they're basically constantly scanned. You're, if you're going against a blood on his ult, you're scanned 24-7. Uh, I think that covers most of the things for this ultimate. I may have forgot something. I'm going through this pretty quickly and just off the top of my head trying to remember everything. So if I forget something, I will be posting it in the description because I did want to go in-depth about his ultimate. Um, but apart from that, the only thing I can add to this is... Same thing as a scan, be mindful when you activate it, there is an animation that is impossible to cancel. Well, it's not impossible. There's actually a little glitch on which you, uh, if you are mantling something as you're activating his ult, you may be able to cancel it, but that's just a glitch in the game and it may be patched by the time you uh, reach this video. So now that we're done with the whole uh, abilities, now let's go over which type of playstyles and which type of players you guys have to adapt to as a Bloodhound. So Bloodhound, I like to say, is very versatile. He's not uh, focused on attack, he's not focused on recon, and he's not focused on defense. But he can do all three and assist those legends and make improve his team comp just by being there. So what I mean by that, so let's go over, let's say, the aggressive state first. Your ultimate gives you a speed boost, which allows you to win your 1v1s more often so that's one advantage of being a bloodhound as an aggressive player 
Uh, Constance Cans, you know exactly where people are. You're gonna, uh, uh, while you're fighting, again, Constance Cans, you know whenever you're finishing up a fight, you can chase an enemy down. You're not gonna lose him, you're gonna completely wipe that squad if you're a good Bloodhound main. Uh, as for the defensive state of Bloodhound, again, scans. You're scanning somebody, they're walking around a corner trying to push your position, instantly beam them, even pre-fire before they even get around the corner. By the time they realize what's happening, they got half an R9 clip in their head and they're already on the floor crawling, saying, I got one clipped. Uh, and as for the recon abilities, again, Bloodhound has the ability to scan beacons because he he is a recon character in the game. He has the ability to scan beacons to get next ring position. With his ult, he can spot enemies at insane ranges. Uh, with his scans, he's able to tell you which uh, teams are in the area or in your proximity, where you can position yourself to get the best angles on them. Um, another thing I forgot to go over for the aggressive state of Bloodhound, singling out enemies. This is so important and so many Bloodhounds do not do it apart from the, the Pred and Master Bloodhounds that I go against in ranked. Singling out enemies is so important with Bloodhound, it is his best perk in comp play, in high ranks. If you want to rank up, single out enemies, you basically won that fight as soon as you get the first knock. Broken. Scan the person who's farthest away, get your entire team to ape him. A Bloodhound should constantly be the team leader, the in-game leader to make the decisions. He is the one with the access to the information and the best person to assess it, as he is the one who dictates when and where he gets the information. So just remem remember that as Bloodhound mains. Now I was said I was going to go over uh, which type of player you need to be to be a Bloodhound main. But as you guys can probably already tell, if you can be aggressive, defensive and uh, recon, anybody can play Bloodhound. Anybody can be a god tier Bloodhound. Mechanically speaking, Bloodhound is very viable and versatile. You can use him in any situation. He is a good rank comp, he is a good pub, pub uh, comp, he is a good scrim comp can be used in any situation in any setting now when pubs uh, is different from ranked with bloodhound pubs is basically your time to practice to go full out ape with bloodhound you know be uh, that bloodhound that thinks he's with Jason Bourne or something and just go ape teams practice your old practice your scans your positioning get better with bloodhound mechanically in ranked you're gonna be more of the recon role on your team you're gonna be the in-game leader you're gonna assess the position of the person that takes information, makes the calls, you're calling the shots, you got all the information. You're gonna wanna be able to be more defensive and recon in, uh, in rank, but still have that ability to go full out a put team if ever that is the decision you take. A Bloodhound is very versatile in his, uh, in his, the way he plays and the way he thinks. Bloodhound mains are unique, which is why, uh, you don't see many good bloodhound mains as you see a lot of bad ones and i hope this got helped if ever i missed anything make sure to drop it in the comments and until then i will update this guide soon enough uh so i hope this helped again and i'll see you guys in a further video